My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. It's time for the last race on the card at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Monday. Race number eight, Hollywood Bets, a bright future, Phillies and Mares, 77 handicap. So we end off the day with competitive Phillies and Mares races, races seven and eight. And race eight goes off over the 1,200 meter trip. And at the time of recording, there are no scratchings in this lineup. And we do have three reserve runners, horse number 13, Magic in Motion, 14, Icy Knight, and the recent maiden winner, horse number 15, Winter Journey, who has been rewarded for that consistency. And Winter Journey, the handicapper didn't give her any penalty for winning that maiden. Now, race number eight on the card. In terms of the place accumulator, I've got a banker here in the form of number two, Maiden's Prayer. Now, Maiden's Prayer, disappointing last time out when beaten by Zanetto. She was comfortably beaten on that occasion. I expected a much better effort from her, and she looked to be the ideal exacto horse with Zanetto in that lineup, but she ran no sort of race, and it was disappointing. She's now drawn in gate number two with Richard Faria aboard. She enjoys the distance over 1,200 meters, four rounds over the course and distance for one win and two seconds. She's better off at the weights with the stable companion, Diamond Girl, who beat her two rounds back. Diamond Girl has gone up two kgs, whereas Maiden's Prey has gone down one and a half. So she's three and a half kgs, better off for 2.3 length beating. She wasn't drawn well as well, drawn out in gate number 10. And Diamond Girl was drawn neatly in gate number 6. Yes, Diamond Girl was the fastest to finish, but I just think Richard Fury aboard Maiden's Prayer, drawn in gate number 2 on the poly track. She's going to be a big runner and she's going to be the third of my three place accumulator bankers at 7 to 1. That's some nice value. Diamond Girl, another runner that has to go in once again. She's in some cracking form at the moment. She's won her last two starts. She'll be looking for a hat trick. She's at home over the distance and she's drawn well in gate number 3. Horse number 6, Kitten's Adventure. It was a good run last time out with the 4 kgs off the back. I think she's a runner for Trifectas and Quartets. Winters. Destiny in some good form, but she takes on a lot stronger than what she has been meeting. Lady Macbeth, she's a horse that closes off her races extremely well. She has held her post maiden form really nicely, winning, running second and running fifth last time out from a horrible draw. So Lady Macbeth drawn wide once again, but she runs on nicely. And I think she's a horse that you've got to include as well into all bets for Lorenzo Karim. And Lady Macbeth at 10 to 1 in the market, some nice value. Number 10, Double Dream. Impressive winner of a debut run when beating Hold My Hand. Now, Hold My Hand did come out to Frank that form line just yesterday at, on Saturday at Hollywood Best Gravel, beating a moderate field. And Hold My Hand, she won extremely well. Third in that race was Winter Journey, who has won. So the form line's working out nicely. And Double Dream, she looks to be a really nice sword. She won a debut where she quickened so nicely. So Double Dream, she's been priced up at favorite, four to one. Handicapper has given a mark of 72. Samanga Kumalo gets a ride. Not the best of draws to contend with on a poly debut run, but Double Dream, she could be a lot better than this field. And she's gonna be a horse that you've got to include as well. So I'm gonna go two, three, Nine and ten, those will be my top four selections in race number eight on the card. And I'm hoping that Maiden's Prayer can run an absolute cracker and come through for Richard Furry at Dennis Dry at around seven to one. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.